Hello guys, welcome to my next video and today I am going to show you how you how to make a canvas at home and you can use this homemade canvas for practice if you are not willing to spend more on the professional ones. So here I am with a wooden piece, uh, you call it plywood as well. This is a very a thin piece of wood and perfectly cut on all sides and make sure when you cut this you draw the lines with the pencil first and then use your device to cut this and I don't know the approximate size I have cut this into and now let's talk about the cloth I'm going to use this is a fine piece of buckram you often find with uh, tailors they stiff the collars and cuffs of the shirts and sometimes plackets as well uh, using this cloth and this cloth has two sides uh, the first one is the shiny and the other side appears just like any other cloth and remember you have to uh, stick the shining side uh, with the canvas board uh, and now here uh, the final thing I would say we have to do is apply this white glue see the bottle of the white glue and the popular brand uh, name it is famous within India is uh, Favicol you can use any device to apply this on your board and I'm just doing it with my finger because I like to do it this way and when you do this make sure you apply the even coat of white glue with your uh, finger or whatever device you're using to apply I would suggest you to do it with your finger because with your finger you can apply a, a fine amount of pressure on the glue and know if there are any bumps in there they shouldn't be there And the second thing you have to remember is applying the adequate amount of white glue on the sides as well. In the central portion, everybody does it, but some people don't do it on the sides or do it only on the corners, which is inappropriate. Cover all the sides because when you lay down your sheet on the board, uh, that will be um, attached to the board only in the central portion and not on the sides and that will appear really messy. And here I am done with applying the white glue and now it's time to stick my cloth to the board and as you remember as I already told you that you have to uh, stick the shining side of the cloth to the board and when you do this don't forget to leave the equal proportions of the cloth out of the board uh, because you have to fold it at the end and if you're not having an uh, enough proportion of cloth to fold uh, this will not work and see how gently I'm applying the pressure and sometimes those bumps of the white glue come out of the canvas and you don't have to worry about them, just rub them off. And now here is time to use our scissors for cutting and let me explain you this process in simple words. Uh, so first of all what you have to do is you have to uh, Fold the leftover portion of the cloth on the back side of the canvas and apply gentle pressure so that it gets a crease uh, at the edges where it's mating the board and then on the other side as well. Actually you have to do this on all the sides and then what you have to do is you have to use scissor to just cut this uh, square you can see so that it makes your folding easier because if you are uh, not cutting this portion out this portion is going to cause trouble later on when you apply the white glue to stick it to the board so again I'm here repeating the process what you have to do is fold the two sides then the square created in between the two sides you have to cut it on one side and leave it as it is on the other and then fold it over see this uh, you have to do it all all the corners and now again I'm here applying the white glue uh, here I will tell you one thing what you have to do is uh, you have to apply a lot of glue on the point where your canvas sheet and your board are meeting and after applying the white glue uh, when you think you have sufficiently applied it just fold over the piece of cloth and stick it with wise gentle pressure with the board and this is what you have to do it on all the sides and with gentle pressure and one thing here I would like to suggest you that uh, you have to uh, kind of apply a pull on the portion you are going to fold because 
uh, you have to make sure that there are no wrinkles on the side you are going to paint on. So our process is complete, our homemade canvas is ready and the final thing uh, we have to do is to just let it dry and after it is dried you have to apply this uh, basic acrylic gesso. Uh, you can get it from Amazon. Uh, this is uh, 470 ml and it hardly costed me around uh, 500 Indian rupees. I'm just going to uh, place this gesso on my palette, on my dirtiest palette ever, and then apply it with a brush. This is the final process. And after this, you just have to let your canvas dry and you can paint on it later on. And one thing I would like to tell you is that if you think there are some pores or some portions which are not completely uh, covered with the gesso, you can go for the second layer after the first layer is completely dried. And there's this one thing I would like to tell you about is that you don't have to pour out the gesso out of your bottle and apply it as it is. If you want a thinner layer of gesso, you can subsequently add water to it and then apply it on your canvas. And again, the work of the gesso is simply to prevent the surface of your canvas from eroding uh, because uh, oil paints have a tendency to degrade your canvas in the long run and it's not a problem if you're painting in acrylics. And here you can see I'm towards the end of the process of applying gesso and some color of my palette has come out and it's not a problem again. And this is how you have to do it with the complete canvas. And if you're not satisfied with the application of the first layer of gesso, you can go on with the second. And here our canvas is complete. And this is how you have to do it. And you can see I have no pores in my canvas right now. I have completely covered it with gesso. This is how you are going to make your own canvas at home. And lastly, I would like to thank you all for all the support you have been giving me. And if you are new to this channel, please uh, like, comment, share and subscribe if you like my work. And stay home, stay safe. Thank you.